Morning everybody, Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. Uh, of course, as it is always with things, I came out, or I looked here and it was 10 amps. And I grabbed the camera and it was dropped to 7 amps. Uh, 10 amps would have been 120, 130 watts. We're at 12.9 volts on the battery bank. It was 12.3 this morning. And last night, obviously. Um, not very clear. It's overcast. So 10 amps, 120 watts out of uh, 470 overcast is not bad. Anyway, that's what we're looking at right now. I've got to learn how to read this meter now that I'm actually using this device fully. That's the um, output side of the system. I have to set everything on the battery. So I'm going to have to figure this stuff all out. Anyway, get back to where we were. 53.8 volts on the solar panel array. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to have to look up with the wire size if that's okay. Might want to reduce the current or the uh, wattage and increase the voltage. 12.9 volts on the batteries. Not bad though. We're looking good. As soon as I set the camera down, it went up to 12 amps. There we go. That's what I was talking about. Voltage going up. We are charging the batteries. Good stuff. Hey guys. I've got two boards just on the outside of my big battery box. That's the battery bank right there. My uh, um, solar generator box. And the I have a Tiger Claw 1500 watt pure sine wave inverter. It's the low end of the um, pure sine wave inverters. And I read a lot of reviews about this before deciding to get one. So that's what I got here for the house. Um, uh, 1500 watt. It's not a very high power but we don't expect to draw a lot inside the house for our daily use. That should handle a refrigerator surge, I hope, it's supposed to, because it's got a uh, it's 1500 watt continuous with about a 3000 watt surge, so that should be absolutely fine. Anyway, so I'm going to be connecting this up, and right now I'm going to use my uh, Tac Life rotary tool. I'm going to cut a hole in here, and I'm going to put a conduit through, to run the battery wires and then the AC wire in through the battery box and then while well, the battery wires are connected onto the batteries and then the um, AC wires will run in through the conduit through into the house and into a power box I'm going to build. Gives you an overall view right now of what I got going on. Pretty cool looking uh, Setup. I'm calling it a solar generator because it is going to be a separate unit, not wired into the house. I put a hole in here and I put some conduit through, which fits pretty tight so that'll keep the wire from getting harmed. Okay, I've got the negative terminal on the inverter, running into the battery box on the negative terminal of the opposite battery from where I'm pulling a positive or putting the charge in here. And I'm going to pull off on the negative on the opposite battery. And over here, the charge is going in here at an angle. I'm going to pull off on this terminal here for the power inverter. Okay, there's a the plus and minus going in. And then I've got plus here, negative there. Now I'm going to put a fuse on here, but I still want to make sure this thing even works before I go ahead and do all that. Okay, we have power. Well, it's loud. I hope that doesn't run. Okay, good. It shuts itself off. Good. All right, so we've got the inverter has power. Now, I do have fuses for this. I've just got to go get them and get them on here. But I wanted to get this hooked up first, and then I'm going to fuse it. Just so you know, because a lot of people are going to ask. So, looking pretty good so far. Inside the tiny house, we're pulling 21. Oops, I moved it. 21 amps times 13 Volts. I'm gonna have to start learning to do my math now. Oh, there's a levy kitten by me. Oh, my little girly. So, that's a lot of power. We're at 13.5 volts. I hope that shows up. And uh, 20, 21 amps coming in. Really, really good solar power. So we are topping off that battery bank today. Now inside I've run a AC power wire down here. 
and I've got an outlet which I'm going to put in a box tomorrow but right now I'm going to wire this up and put a cover on it and it's going to be mounted over here for now out of the way and so that I have eight, two outlets tonight for AC power I can charge our cell phones and uh, my laptop off that tonight instead of running off the extension cord and that extension cord can be permanently for the fridge then the other the other two uh, solar panels that'll be then set up like that so this will be for small devices and the other one will be for larger devices so I'm going to wire this up and then I'm going to go out and wire on the other end of the plug to the inverter and we should have AC power in here and then my conduit is still large enough to run to uh, 8 gauge or 10 gauge DC wires I'm probably going to go with uh, yeah I don't know I see what I have 8 or 10 gauge but that'll they'll reach through here just fine and then I'll be able to have AC and DC power and I'll have a removable power distribution box in here which requires me to go to the store and get some more parts but I will be doing that properly hey guys this is easy uh, to wire it's got um, it's labeled white wire here green is ground and the black is the other this is very easy to work with so again tomorrow actually tomorrow Sunday the next day this is going into a um, box it'll have its own power box everything will be nice and neat and have its own place I'll have AC and DC power different voltages USB power out and the whole works been planning this setup for a while now so mm. wrong screwdrivers yep they're both too awkward for that we gotta go get a different screwdriver well anyway here's the idea is that gonna work or not yeah I could get to a different screwdriver for that let's go and cross start it anyway so, I'll get this screwed in there. Alright guys, outside I put, you can see the, uh, where's my finger? Uh, you can see the yellow wire. I strung it up and hooked it into the inverter and turned it on. And inside, I forgot the cover plate, I have to go get the wall cover plate. I plugged in my cell phone plug and we are charging. Okay? We are charging we have power power in the tiny house there it is guys all right now I just got to secure that and put the cover plate on and we're done for the night and then tomorrow's well uh, Monday's project will be to make a box for that with all the various voltages which I talked about already so that's it for tonight and we got 12.6 volts on the battery box after turning on that 12.7 I guess and 0.1 amps coming in so not much at all but it was a, a pretty decent day of charging on a battery bank that's been at rest for a while so that's pretty good I guess